You do a lot of stuff in play by play, yeah. which, which everybody knows you for now. I'm trying to think about how long I've been listening to you. Right, yeah. it's been quite some time. How long have you been uh, the voice of the Nets? Voice of the Nets is 25 years. Yeah, it's hard to, to believe. Yeah. Well, you're, well, you're like the reason Kyrie Irving chose to go. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's get this out on the table right now. I was the reason. Yes. <laughs> how, do, how does it feel? How does it feel to be the reason? <laughs> <laughs> the reason Kyrie Irving wants to come back. Home. You know. You know what's home. funny. Uh, <laughs> I did meet Kyrie, yep. obviously being around NBA circles, but this is a very strange story. The The circumstances are almost hard to believe. I was doing an NFL game in Baltimore, Thanksgiving weekend. Mm. I decide to take the train home from Baltimore. I'm not a huge train guy, huh. and I'll give you a few reasons. One, I still write my notes. So okay. on a train, uh, when you're shaky. writing... Yeah. It goes yeah. sideways. The handwriting on gets you. worse. So that's one. <laughs> Two, I think people take major liberties on trains. Shoes off, socks off. I see things happen oh, on <laughs> oh, trains. Yeah, we have to talk about some of that. In right. That's, that's a problem. Oh, that's a problem. And then third, also, because the cell phone works, yeah. people are very comfortable with their conversations. I had a guy in front of me on a train, and he's talking about as loud as possible, and he was reminding people around him. I'm on a conference call with China. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care about your conference call. I don't care where it's happening. But yet he still was reiterating it when people were looking at him. Yeah. So I'm not a huge train guy. I take the train back and I get into the the lead car. Okay. And there's yeah. no one on it. Huh. No one on it. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is this perfect. Is great. I'm gonna put my bag this is next a trap. to me. I already know. Right. It's a trap. Well, <laughs> conductor comes up. He says, "Sir, uh, we have some uh, people coming on." You're going to have to take a single seat. I said, really? There, there's no one here? He said, they're coming on. All right. <laughs> so I get into my device. I'm watching whatever I'm watching. We get to Delaware. Mm. Nobody's on the train. A couple people straggle in. Okay. Mm. We get to Philly, and I'm knee deep in whatever show that, that I was watching, maybe Narcos at the time. Mm. Ah, good watching. And the Cleveland Cavaliers get on the train. Oh. One by one. Oh. They're on the train. Wow. wow. So I'm talking Kevin Love. I'm talking Kyrie Irving. I'm talking Richard oh. Jefferson, Chris Anderson, on and on. The only one that wasn't on the train was Le Tristan Thompson. Uh -oh. No. Oh. So LeBron. LeBron, LeBron was there. On, on the train. train. Oh, I was about to oh. say, I thought LeBron I was, was going to say. I he... thought LeBron was too good for the Excel LeBron Express. is on the train. <laughs> wow. So uh, my first thought is, what's happening right yeah. now? What are they doing on this train? <laughs> so I'm, I'm still doing my thing Richard's sitting in the front so I'm not going to go bother him I'll just say what's up on the way out yeah. I'm only maybe 45 minutes from my stop 40 minutes in they make the announcement next stop that's my stop I yep. grab my stuff the train stops oh boy a cold stop okay before we get to the station oh okay. no oh no it's right that's not a good feeling and now I'm standing up I had to grab myself and we are in a standstill mode. No announcement, and everyone's freaking out a little bit. So Richard Jefferson makes his way towards my area, and I, I grab his arm, and he gives up, yo, what the? Oh, hey, Ian, you've been on the train the whole time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. what's up? I was just chilling so, in the back. Yeah, so we chat for 40 minutes. Wait, you were stuck? 40 minutes, 4-0. Four wow. He sits on my armrest. And wow. we're talking through, we're catching up. I hadn't seen him in that setting in a long time. Wow. So right at the end of it, I said, hey, what happened, by the way? You were in the front of the train. He goes, oh, we hit somebody. Oh. I said, what? He said, we hit somebody. I Get out of here. He gets up. He goes to the front. Now Kyrie Irving starts making his way back towards me. Uh-huh. And Kyrie, this is pretty incredible he stops at the guy in front of me right in front of me and he says excuse me i don't mean to bother you guy wearing glasses probably 10 years older than me yeah huh. and the guy's reading the newspaper he says yeah he says hey look i just want to let you know i grew up a huge nets fan huge i think you're the best broadcaster in the nba he's saying this to the guy in front of me and i'm looking i go wait a second here You've got the wrong Yeah. Guy. <laughs> I said, Kyrie, 
I said, I'm Iron Eagle. He said, oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can we stop that for a second? <laughs> Can we go to the guy that's sitting in the chair? He has no idea what's happening. Because I'm like, I'm like, was he gonna own this? Was he gonna say no? No, yeah, no, 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 no. Wrong. He was deeply puzzled. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say, did he know? Like... Deeply puzzled. So Kyrie now makes his way one seat over. We bro hug. Okay. He sits down <laughs> and we talk for forty minutes. Wait. We're still stuck. Wait, wait. So, wait, so this is, is forty that... minutes on top. Of I was gonna say on top of the Richard forty minutes. That's oh. an hour twenty. Yes. What time of day was this? This was That's eight a... o'clock. So from eight to nine twenty a.m. p.m. p.m. Oh, I did the oh, game that, that day. day. You did, oh. say that. did the Ravens game? I'm yeah. trying to get yeah. home. Oh, I'm five God. minutes from my station. Where were the Cavs going? Cavs are going to hang out in New oh, York. Oh. They had just beaten oh. the 76ers. <laughs> so they were going to hang and I asked Richard, I go, what are you guys doing here? He said, we're going to hang in New York as a group, and we're going to take Ubers back to Philly. Really? So Kyrie and I get into some deep net stuff. He's asking me legitimate questions about the Jason Kidd, Vince Carter dynamic. Wow. Did they get along? Like a real true blue Nets fan. Man. Yeah. Huh. And at that moment, I realized, because I had not had, obviously, deep conversations with Kyrie. He yeah. thought the other dude was me. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So I realized, oh, okay, this guy, he's the real thing. Yeah. He's this real, is not a like a nice thing. narrative right. that, oh, he grew up in Jersey. He's the real thing. So that, that Sla- kind of slash, soft- slash, you're also the reason he came here. <laughs> yeah, let's get back to the original point. Yes. Because it, so- it sounds like to me that, y- you know, you might have been responsible for him wanting to except, come here. Except now we have to give Kyrie a hard time that he did not recognize No, 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 was. don't. You have to promise. We won't give him no. a hard time. No, no, no. No, you know, you not know, a hard time. You know, you know what absolves him is that he was a true net fan. He knew a lot about it, the organization. It was real. It was uh, real. His, his real emotion... Fandom. Was real. Right. This was not, oh, our train has stopped and I got to kill time. And this was, what, three three years ago, maybe? The year they won it. The year they won it. So, so okay. 16. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Just three years ago. That's a really in- interesting experience, having that kind of conversation with an NBA player in that setting. I'm sorry you didn't get to get home on time. <laughs> well, so <laughs> two things yeah. happen, just to wrap it up. Oh, yeah. Eventually, they pull a train up to get the Cavaliers off the train. Wait, 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 wait. They pull a train up. They put the a little bridge. Up. Now, did you get off the train onto the bridge? I attempted to get off the and they train. Were like, they were like, no. They're like, <laughs> only basketball player. Oh. I, like, oh, I mean, man. close enough. I thought, I mean, right? You, you would have thought I, Kyrie would have brought you with him. I'm hanging with RJ. I'm hanging with Kyrie. <laughs> right. Uh, Chris Anderson was sitting across from me, and <laughs> he turned to me. He was like, tough break, buddy. I go, yeah. Wow. Tough Damn. break. <laughs> Damn, so you were left on the train. And then... Amtrak obviously got on our train, and yep. I asked somebody from Amtrak, I said, hey, what, what happened here? He said, oh, we had a jumper. Somebody jumped in front of the train. Yeah. I said, does that happen often? Uh, he said, during holiday time, you'd be surprised how wow. often it happened. So it was Thanksgiving weekend, oh. and that's huh. some real stuff. Wow. Yeah. Yeah.